lower hand, I control him over here. And now I can use these to push him and pull him as I, not as I please, but much more easily, okay? This also works if they start putting over here, this also works, okay? Especially good over here. Because now I can start pulling and opening his elbow, see? I'm pulling and opening his elbow. As I do this, now I move with the other leg, uh, with the other arm. I pull, off I go. So I'm, from staring at him, I'm going to start looking at the same direction as he is. Okay, and I go in. So I do this, and now I have other, several alternatives. Either I fall on the mat, uh, uh, sorry, either I put my knee on the mat and throw him, or I can carry him here, entirely to, to me. So I'm here, I pull, off I go. I need to pull him and meet him halfway, here. And now I can either put my knee on the mat, and throw him, or I can go directly from here, bend my knees, Okay. You can also bring both of your knees on the mat. I don't like this alternative so much, but a lot of people like it. Okay. But the main thing is to make sure that you get this right. Open this up and you pull. So that you can get it. Okay. Now you get here. Another important thing, you need to make sure that this arm is not over your shoulder, okay, otherwise it's gonna choke you. So, make sure that you are uh, pinching his arm with your own arm here, okay? So that he doesn't go over the shoulder, then it is bad. Okay. You see? So then just one more time. Here, open up, pull, advance. Here, I go down, it goes back, okay? Cool everyone? Yeah, let's give it a go. One, two, three.